Welcome to the Real State of the Union, brought to you by DiEM25, the Democracy in Europe movement. Our band of thousands of dreamers who came from all over Europe joined hands across national borders in order to forge together a progressive democratic European Union. I think that what really matters is the work you will be doing around these tables. For all the European cities which decide to comply to the project, to learn from each other. Find neat narratives, you know, economic narratives. Again, dot connecting. It's impossible to talk about one thing without just kind of uh, spilling over into another. Uh, people working with ref refugees that could really make a connection between what's the reality on the ground and the policy proposed by IBM. Increasingly militarized borders, fences, frontex, uh, a revived push for a common European defense force, and a Europe that is willing to compromise on human rights. Those policies were born in Brussels. Instead of solving the real ones, they created, in a way, fake issues, like the war on terror, which becomes less and less fake, more and more real. And all of that feeds into nationalist and xenophobic sentiment that is destroying Europe. The president of Ecuador, Rafael Correa. The citizen will have power, not the capital. So, it's the basic, basic problem. Thank you. Good. Okay, I want to show Bernie when I get home. <laughs> The idea that the only policy is to debate should we accept refugees or not is not right. The real policy is stop the wars that are producing them. We need the voice of Europe. The most toxic dogma in the history of Europe, we call it Eurotina. The dogma, the dictum that there can be no alternative in this European Union, Diem was put together to smash Euro Tina, to replace Tina with Tatiana. That, astonishingly, there is an alternative. Who are we? You see Diem all around this stage, but we are the thousands of women who are protesting against the criminalization of abortion in Poland. We are the thousands of people who in the south of Italy are welcoming migrants, are saving migrants at sea against the criminalization of their state and against the complete subservience of the European Union to the fascist, authoritarian, xenophobic logic. This calls for a powerful pan-European political movement. It calls for a gigantic work of education. And perhaps, come 2019, it might also call to send some people a few hundred meters from here to actually do what needs to be done and hasn't been done so far. Ideas remain ideas until somebody implements them. And the same will happen with these visions that we heard here today for a progressive, ambitious, and active Europe that comes from our citizens. They will stay within these glorious walls unless we take them with us out of here, into the streets, into our workplaces, into our families, and share them with our friends, and stand for the Europe that we want to have, for the Europe that makes us proud to be a part of.